So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Sorry this video coming a bit late, but I slept in today and I loved it. I actually been getting a lot better sleep over these past couple days. Uh, at night, I just been shutting everything down. Not on the phone, just scrolling, 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 but shutting everything down and going to sleep. And it has paid off big time. Uh, you should try it too. It's like you just feel refreshed. Anyway, uh, the Ravens, they also trying to get refreshed too because they are not hosting one but two defensive ends, bringing them in for visits today. One of those is former Seahawks defensive end Rasheem Green, and the other one is former 49ers defensive end Arden Key. Now, uh, neither one of these two are household names, but they would be quality depth for the Ravens. Not every move that you could possibly make is going to be a splash signing. Not every move you possibly make is going to be this big superstar. But one thing, well, we're going to go over a couple things that these visits say to me. Uh, first, let's talk about on the football field. Um, Arden Key, last year, I, I, they screamed production to me. They screamed production and depth production too. Uh, because Arden Key last year, 2021, he had six and a half sacks. He had six and a half sacks. Um, and then Rasheem Green for the Seahawks, uh, he had six and a half sacks. So you look at that, it's like, okay, they had six and a half sacks for their respective teams. All right, cool. Uh, what's the big deal? That's not even that, that's not even double digit sacks. Well, <laughs> let's look at the Ravens. Uh, defensive end, Mr. Calais Campbell. He had one and a half sacks last year. Uh, and then another DN, Pernell McPhee. He had one sack last year. Now, I know sacks aren't everything because you got to factor in pressure. You got to have context with how much they were on the field and whatnot and different schemes and formation, all that good stuff. But bottom line is production. And it's, mu it's significantly more production than the Ravens got out of a Calais Campbell and out of a Pernell McPhee, which leads me to what I think this could also mean. Now, we also talk about how the NFL, it is a business. We know it's a business. Y'all know it's a business. It's something that we talk about here all the time. We just got reminded uh, yesterday and really throughout this, entire, this, this last seven days of how much of it is, it's a business because we went from hearing the announcement that uh, Zadarius Smith signed with the Ravens. It's like, okay, let's go. And then the following day we hear from Eric DaCosta, oh, well, this, this press conference is just about these guys. It's just about Marcus Williams and uh, uh, Morgan Moses. It's, it's only about these guys. It ain't about anybody else. Don't worry about anybody else. And I was like, uh, I don't know about that one, ADC. That, that sound kind of strange. Then it comes out oh Zadarius Smith did not sign with the Ravens and he backed out of it changed his mind and then of course yesterday he ended up signing with the Vikings it's all part of the business Zadarius Smith changed his mind teams have changed their mind on players before it happens not a big deal but something else that happens in this business entities will put pressure on either current or former employees to try to get something out of them. What I mean when I say that, sometimes franchises, they will bring guys in on visits just to try to show an employee or a former employee who they want to be a current employee just to show him like, hey, we're will willing to move on from you. We want you back, but we're bringing these guys in for visits so they could lead to a signing. So if you're not with it, then you're going to be lost in the sauce. You're going to be gone. Bye. See ya. Or if you want to come back, hey, let's make it happen. That's what I think this is with Calais Campbell, who the Ravens have been openly expressive about wanting him back. This and... This is no like surprise. Ravens have done this before. Plenty of teams, they do this. They want a guy back or even they want a guy. They'll set up a visit with other guys. Be like, oh, hey, come in for a visit. All the meanwhile, they like looking. They they, they check in their phone. Dang, did he text me yet? Did he did he send me a DM? Or did, did he do something? I ain't, I ain't hear from him. I ain't, I ain't hear nothing yet. Come on. He, got, he must know that we bringing in these people for visits. Come on now. All the meanwhile, they just check him. They check him. That's like the, the, the Ravens, they, they want their ex back. They really do. But they go around dating these other people that they might be a little interested in. 
but they really want that old thing back. And I think that this is part of this, not saying that they don't have real interest in green or key, but I think this could be a move to really try to put some pressure on one Calais Campbell. It wasn't a coincidence that last week it was like, all right, the Ravens, they're scheduled to bring in Eddie Goldman for a visit. And I th I'm pretty sure that was after Michael Pierce had already been cut. Eddie Goldman coming in for a visit. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. All the meanwhile, they striking a deal with Michael Pierce. And again, I take it back to last year, too. I know we, we brought this up before, but I got to bring it up again just to give you a reminder. Last year, oh, the Ravens, they, they bringing in um, Hassan Reddick, an outside linebacker, pass rusher. They bringing in Hassan Reddick for a visit. They're interested in Hassan Reddick. I'm like, okay. I mean, wasn't nobody mad at that interest. Like, right, we're getting some speed at outside linebacker. But then it was like, oh, well, then the, the next day, the day after there was this interest from the Ravens and Hassan Reddick, then Tyus Bowser signs his three-year deal. Coincidence? No. Nope. Not at all. So I, I think this is really to for them to let Calais Campbell know, like, hey, we know you over there traveling the world right now. You ain't got a care in the world about free agency, but hey, we, we don't mind faxing you a contract while you over there out of the states and whatnot. I, I really think that they this is their like the last effort to really try to get Calais Campbell back. All the meanwhile, possibly upgrading too. And and just really upgrading again with quality depth. So my thing, if hey, if the Ravens are interested in these guys, sign them both. Sign them both. Sign, sign both of them. And then also, they still got to work on upgrading the interior of the defensive line, too. Michael Pierce, he ain't the end-all, be-all. He's not. Derek Wolf coming back? I mean, he ain't a, he not an interior defensive lineman, but you can't rely on him. Getting Derek Wolf back, bonus. He's a bonus. Even with Calais Campbell, like, even if they did or do get Calais Campbell back, that cannot be the end-all, be-all, man. Calais Campbell, cool. He ain't the same player he used to be, though. We be, gotta be straight up about it, man. He's not the same player that he used to be. And we know, like, Ravens, they, they can get enamored and they can get all infatuated with the name sometimes more than the game. Now, Calais Campbell can still play now. He can still play. And run defense, oh, yeah, that's his thing. Calais Campbell is excellent run defender. But as far as a pass rusher, it ain't that no more, my friend. It's, it's, just, it's just not. So the Ravens need to really upgrade that in that, that pass rush, period. Now, the scheme is going to help a lot. That should help upgrade the pass rush a whole lot. Um, but so will the, the, the players. Like they always say, it ain't just X's and O's. It's about the, uh, what is it, the Jimmy and Joes? I forget how the saying goes, but, oh, we still rhyming over here. Okay, I got a little bit of a flow, but y'all need to see that right now. I can say that for another day. Um, but, yeah, I... I uh, so I, I ain't mad at these moves because, like I said, they, they could mean several different things uh, for the Ravens. And all would be good. Uh, all would be good situations and circumstances and whatnot. Um, if I had to choose, like, what I would rather the Ravens do um, as far as uh, whether it's bringing back Calais Campbell, um, which I think, again, I think this move is really to try to put some pressure on him or signing one of these young guys, Green or Ar Arden Key. I would rather them go young. I would rather them go young. Um, I mean, you could bring back, you could bring in all three. Reason being because you're losing. You're going to be losing some guys. You're going to have some guys to replace. Bernard McPhee, he's gone. I, I don't expect him to come back this year. You never know with the Ravens, but I don't expect him to come back this year. Because Ravens need to get younger up front on that defensive line. They need to get more physical, athletic, uh, and healthy. Healthy. They, they really got to get after it on a defensive line. Um, but another guy who hasn't been much talk about him this offseason, uh, but it's it just, in my opinion, it's just not looking good, uh, Jalen Ferguson. Jalen Ferguson is somebody who it has been rough, man. And I know the opportunities have not been there like crazy. I get that. Um, but it's been, it's been looking rough, man. So I just... I don't see him being on the uh, on the roster this upcoming season. 
Um, what was he, a third round pick in what, 2019, I think? I think. I forget. But, yeah, I think it was 2019. I think it was a third round pick in 2019. Or was it a, was it a third? I don't even remember. But either way, I, um, I, I think this also uh, is the beginning of the end for him. They, of course, haven't signed either one of them yet. But even still, even if even if there was no visit for either one of these guys, I still think that it would have been the beginning of the end uh, for Jalen Ferguson because it just man, it just it hasn't worked out uh, so far, and I I don't think Eric DeCosta is gonna keep him on. I really don't, and I don't think he's even gonna get like that opportunity uh, to really be like, all right, hey, it, it clicked. That, that, light, that light turned on for me. I don't think he's going to get that opportunity. You see, they keep bringing back Pernell McPhee, man. They keep bringing back Pernell McPhee. They brought him back, what, twice over the past two years? They keep bringing him back over and over. And you've been there, so it's like that lets me know right then and there. But, uh, yeah, I just don't see it happening. I don't see him being on the team. Um, so, hopefully, uh, it'd be nice if something just clicked and he started going crazy. Or even if he does end up moving on. Hopefully it'll click and he'll go crazy with somebody else. Um, but, yeah, I don't think it'll be with the Ravens this year. So, we'll see. We'll see. Because, again, these moves these moves are just not so black and white, in my opinion. These moves, they a lot of them just they, they mean something more. So, we'll see what happens. Next. Don't be surprised if between today and tomorrow you hear, oh, the Ravens re-sign Calais Campbell. He's back, guys. Don't be surprised if you hear that tomorrow. But we'll see. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Hey, now, since I'm actually doing it myself, I could actually talk about it. Because I don't like talking about stuff that I don't do myself. I'm trying to tell, oh, you should do this. If you, I hate when people do that. I really do. Oh, you should do this. Da, 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 and they ain't doing it. Hey, get some sleep. When you get in the bed to lay down and go to bed... Turn the phone off. Well, you ain't got to turn it off. But you put it on vibrate and flip it upside down. So if you get a notification or something, the phone don't light up the whole room, though. No. Darken it. Put it on all the way on dark mode, night mode, whatever. Flip it over. Put it on vibrate. Plug it in a charger. Done. We out.